Hi, I'm Ms. Wales, and today I'm going to teach you about subtracting across zeros. We look at our first sample problem. We have 402 minus 227. I know with subtraction, we always start by subtracting in the ones column. Right away, I notice I have more on the floor, so I need to go next door and get 10 more. Well, when I try to get 10 more, I see that I have zero tens. I'm going to teach you a trick. I call it squaring off. Since I know that 10 tens equals 100, and I see that I have four hundreds right here, I really have 40 tens. So now, let's go ahead and take one of those tens away to give our ones column. When we take one ten away from 40, we end up with 39 tens. We gave that ten to the ones column. So now, more on top. There's no need to stop. 12 minus 7 equals 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. 3 minus 2 is 1. We'll go ahead and add to check that our subtraction was correct. Cover up that top number. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry our 1. I circle it so I don't forget about it. 1, 2, and 7 is 10. 1, 2, and 1 is 4. If these two numbers match, we know that we did our subtraction correctly. Sure enough, we did, so we're good to move on. Sample number 2 is a word problem, so it's a little bit trickier. But as long as we know the steps for solving a problem, we'll be just fine. It says, Amy's class assignment was to create a timeline of her life. She wanted to include her age of when her family moved to a new house. If Amy was born in 1997 and her family moved in 2012, how old was she when they moved? We need to first understand what it is that we're looking to figure out. The question mark gives us the clue. They want us to solve. How old was she when they moved? So we'll underline it so it sticks out for us. Now we need to look for information that we need in order to figure out how old she was. It says she was born in 1997 and then her family moved in 2012. We need those two pieces of information to help us solve this problem. When we set it up, we're going to use the subtraction problem 2012 minus 1997. Once again, we start with our ones column. We see that there's more on the floor. We need to go next door, get 10 more. So we take away from the tens place. The one becomes a zero. Give the 10 to the ones. 12 minus 7 equals 5. Now we move to our tens column. 0 minus 9. All right, more on the floor. Go next door, get 10 more, and we notice a 0. So we'll do our trick. Square off with the next place value. Since we have a 2 right there, this now becomes 20. Let's take 1 away from 20, which is 19. We give the 10 right there to that 0. Now we have 10 minus 9 equals 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. We don't need those two zeros right there because our answer will be 15 and our label will be years because they were asking us to solve how old Amy was. She was 15 years old when they moved. Let's make sure to do our addition to check that our subtraction was correct. Cover up that top box there, and we'll look and see 7 plus 5 is 12, carry our 1, 1, 9, and 1 is 11, 1 and 9 is 10, and 1 plus 1 is 2. If these two numbers match, we did our problem correctly, sure enough they do, so we're good to move on. This time, I'm going to have you apply what you have learned. So go ahead, grab a piece of paper, and write down the problem just as you see it. Go ahead, and when you're ready, 
hit the pause button after you solve the problem. Go ahead, hit play again. I'll be back with you and I'll go over how you solve this problem so you can check your work. Go ahead and hit pause now while you work out your problem. All right, welcome back. You should have written down 306 minus 177. Let's go ahead and check to see how you did. We see right away there's more on the floor. We need to go next door, get 10 more. I hope you used our trick and squared off. We don't have zero tens. We actually have 30 tens. Let's take one of those tens away. 30 Take away one of those tens, ends up being 29 tens. Give it to your ones. 16 minus 7 will give you 9. 9 minus 7 equals 2, and 2 minus 1 equals 1. I hope at this point that you did add to check your work. Covering up our top answer here. And we see 7 plus 9 equals 16. Carry our 1. 7, 1, and 2 is 10. 1, 1, and 1 is 3. If these two numbers match, you know you did your subtraction correctly. Sure enough, they do. Good work.